been there since 1929. It's the oldest place on Route 66. Our menu includes all sorts of like burgers, uh, Greek food, Mexican food, sandwiches, breakfast, all day long. We love having to come by and visit with us and take a look at the history we have to share with you. And uh, not only that, we maybe it's Libby's has a location of 25 movies. So I mean, it's got some character to you know, buy your gas and gas and 66. Look at it. You know, buy it. It's a family owned operation. And uh, it's been here since 1929. My family's had it since 1986. We've been here. We've been We're still here. So hopefully we're doing something good. Right. We look forward to seeing you. So, Valkyrie Restoring Oils is my business, and this is my restoring face oil for sensitive or mature skin. It's a firming and anti aging formula. And I went into making uh, face and body oils because I was allergic to most products that are sold in stores because they're full of chemicals. So, I started making it myself, and it's a cleanser and a moisturizer. And all in one bottle. So all you need to do is just put it on, wipe it off with a cloth that comes with the oil, and then put it on again. It's very easy and simple, and like I said, everything organic. And uh, you can order on ValkyrieOils.com. And he was he had RSV and asthma, and he was being pumped full of chemicals and. We were looking for something else to help him, something that we could actually do. Something all natural. So, yeah. And so my wife found essential oils with the research and I uh, started making things just to make it easier for him to breathe. And from there, it's expanded to all of our products. And uh, she started a business for it to help others be able to live naturally and heal naturally and uh, just live better. So through essential oil. Our products are naturally are naturally made, homemade, and locally sourced when we can. Um, everything here is done in our kitchen. Literally. <laughs> and uh, what, what we try and do is show people that to really take care of yourself, you have to look at the base products. You have to look at what you're really putting onto your skin. And there's better ways to take care of yourself. There's easy and expensive ways to take care of yourself. And if we can do it, then you can't do it. We make them flat, go up against the wall, and we use all natural pods and pine cones and acorns, whatever we find dry, to our things. And uh, they're good all, all year, and some people like them for the holidays, but they're actually an all year uh, decoration that you can use and enjoy. And it's all harvested. fun to make only sometimes it gets a little a little hard but it's fun it's totally fun and it's, it's more than a hobby because this is how we do our living grown in northern New Mexico by a gentleman by the name of George Velasquez he's 83 years old uh, I chose to sell this corn for him because all he was doing was selling it to his livestock uh, George is a very young 84 years old and uh, this beautiful corn that he grows gets the water from the Rio Grande and uh, it, it's just uh, it, it's something that every year and I've been doing this for five years you just can't tell what you're going to get and what you're going to see like take for instance this one right here or some of the other beautiful corn here the, the color is all done by cross-pollination uh, our Native Americans uh, uh, Navajos uh, Apaches they grow a lot of this corn and that's where a lot of the color comes from, it's just from cross-pollination. Um, but it's a, it's a very beautiful product, um, but it's a seasonal thing. You know, once you start getting the chili roasting and the ristras showing up, uh, then it's time for the corn to be right there for uh, you know, decoration purposes for the holidays and stuff. And uh, it's just a very beautiful product that, we, uh, that this gentleman produces here in New Mexico, and I'm proud to uh, to be the individual that, uh, that gets to sell it for him and share it with uh, uh, people from throughout the world. And uh, that's just the short of the short there. We like to
to source uh, our products as locally as possible. So uh, our primary flour is grown here in, uh, in New Mexico, part of the uh, New Mexico State University Sangre de Cristo project. Uh, and we combine that with uh, other sourced organic or local products to try to make just the best product that we can. Goat cheese um, from Old Windmill Farms in uh, Estancia, New Mexico. Everything's all homemade. We also have the smoked gouda. We also have cow products as well with the cheese curds and the feta. So please come and join us. We'd love to have you. We also do tours and uh, classes as well. Thank you. <laughs> what are you looking about it? Oh, I love it, man. <laughs>